How do you plan to improve business recruitment and expansion in Wichita Falls so that city residents, future MSU Texas graduates, have viable job opportunities in our community? You know, we've talked about this a lot in me as, um, you know, you hear the stories about Ray Clymer, what he did for this town. And I talked to Mr. Alani, who had served on a lot of boards with him, is, you know, the man would go round up money and then get on an airplane, and it was for his cost. And look what he did. We've got a AC spark plug, wash X, stuff like that. Somebody's got to be the point man that's got some charisma to bring those stuff to town. Now, does the younger generation want to work in a factory? With those benefits, I like to think so. My generation did. It wasn't that bad. There was a lot of opportunities of people I know that worked out there that are still working for a GM in Arlington that worked here. It, and it's stuff like that we've got to do. Midwestern, you know, do you, you, you argue that, that the trade schools versus an education, white collar versus blue collar? You know, it, it's just back to having opportunities. It, it'll vary anywhere. It's just having where somebody can do what they want to. If they're not interested in getting an education, maybe they like to do it with their hands. Okay, Mayor, how, uh, what, what are your plans to improve business recruitment and expansion in Wichita Falls? You know, we spent <clears throat> the last a couple of years working on a strong economic plan, and it's working. It's finally working. Uh, we've, got, we've got factors coming in, Pamlico Air. We, we talk about business retention and expansion. You know, it's not just bringing people in, but it's making sure that we, when those businesses come in, that we expand them and we retain them. You know, that's how you grow your, your economic base. Um, you know, the old model of hopping in a jet and going and having a beer with somebody is antiquated. That just doesn't work anymore. You know, what we have now is the Chamber of Commerce, which is funded through 4A, and, and, and you have great people like David Leeser that works for the Chamber of Commerce and Henry Florsham that work each and every single day, and then you have people like me support it. It's 4A, 4B, it's MSU, it's Shepherd Air Force Base, it's all these people. It's a collaborative effort now. You know, it's a lot of parties working towards economic development. It's no longer one man that can do it. It's a lot of people. You got to have a lot of strong leaders in your community and those people working with a collaborative effort towards one goal, and that's economic growth. Okay, Mr. Hewling, what are your plans? Uh, just to piggyback off of what uh, Mayor Stevens said, uh, it starts with our city leaders. Uh, we're going to have to go out there and do a lot of recruitment as well. Uh, you know, coming from South Carolina, uh, I came from a small town, South Carolina. Uh, we were struggling as far as the same thing what we're doing in Wichita, being able to keep people. And the city leaders reached out to Continental Tire, and they brought a, was able to bring a Continental Tire there, and it created thousands of jobs for the city. I'm not saying that this is the same case of what happened in Wichita, but if we're not using, you know, our, our economic, uh, you know, knowledge, our city leader, our city manager, uh, and all our board members, and Henry Florson with downtown development, we're not going to get nothing done. And we can sit here and talk about it all day long and run in circles, but if we don't actually have someone that's passionate, that's going to start from the top and work its way down, because, you know, in every job in business, they always say stuff rolls downhill, and that's the truth. So we need to get on it and stop talking about it, and let's be about it. Mayor? Yes. What I would add to that is a lot of people don't realize, you know, we're not always going to win the game with home runs. We're not going to bring those big factories back. Although we are, you know, a, a Pamlico Air, you know, a couple hundred jobs, Panda Biotech, Eagle Rail Car, you know, these are all big factories coming back, filling the old Stanley building, filling the old Delphi building. So they're coming back. 1,800 jobs in the aggregate over the past five years. These are good jobs. So economic incentives that we have, using 4A money to incentivize these people is great. You know, 1,800 jobs, nothing to sneeze at in the last five years. We're not going to always have a home run, but we can, a lot of, we can win a lot of ball games with singles and doubles. And Mr. Hunter, you can answer to that too, and also about recruitment, whether you can hop and go and have a beer and bring people to town. Well, I mean, it worked before, and I still believe in uh, meeting and putting a face with a name, handshaking. But you know, when you look at some of the jobs and they talk about $15 an hour, that's not going to grow our tax base. That's not going to buy a home. I wish it would, but it's not, not unless your spouse has a really good job. That's why I've looked at our budget from the chamber. It used to be a $200,000 deal, now it's up to 1.1. We're now hiring another person to do downtown development to recruit business out of town. We've got downtown development that's going to do things from inside Wichita Falls. I don't understand the, the overlapping responsibilities. Okay.